as we look ahead to the Memorial Day weekend, the story tonight of a Minnesota sailor who is finally home. Gladen Iverson was aboard the USS Oklahoma when a Japanese torpedo hit the ship during the attack on Pearl Harbor. 75 years later, his remains were returned to his family in a patriotic ceremony. WC Sales Liz Collin was there for the hero's homecoming, decades in the making. It was not talked about, quite frankly. He grew up knowing very little about his uncle's sacrifice. Gladen Iverson died five years before his nephew Gary was born. Now a growing family has come to know the 24-year-old who left the tiny town of Emmons, Minnesota for new shores in the Navy. The family got two telegrams, one saying that they couldn't find him, and then one weeks later saying that he was presumed dead with all of his shipmates on the USS Oklahoma. The fireman third class was one of 429 on board who lost their lives in the surprise attack in 1941. Iverson's remains were buried in Honolulu alongside other identified service members until the Defense Department recently pushed for DNA analysis, leading to the call that came just before Christmas. It was to let me know that his remains had been identified. We all agreed without question that we wanted to bring him home. For a brief moment, a bustling airport tarmac stood still. Attention! As a new generation paid tribute to a fallen comrade. Sidestep! Face! A powerful reminder of freedom's price. Some of them knowingly going into battle, and some of them as a fireman on a sleepy Sunday morning in Pearl Harbor on a ship not expecting anything. Iverson will be laid to rest in the same place he left some 70 years ago. We have a plot right next to his dad, which is comforting, really. The last stop on one young sailor's long journey home. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Several different veterans groups provided an escort for today's 100-mile trip from MSP to Emmons. A funeral for Gladen Iverson will be held Saturday at Emmons Lutheran Church.